Hey everybody, welcome to the Tubbin Show. Today, I have Captain Obvious. Obviously. Obviously. So, I appreciate everybody coming and hanging out. Today, we are going to be building the uh, Safety Harbor Firearms 50 Cal Upper. And our special guest today is Captain Obvious. Real quick, guys, let's go over. I got some awesome stuff real quick. Let you guys know. Not, none of this is sponsored. These are products that myself and Captain Obvious use. And I wanted to show you guys. All the links are down in the description below. I use Ammunition Depot. It's where I buy my, my ammo. Would you like to pass that over to me real quick here? What's the magic word? Captain Obvious. Put it please with sugar on top. Uh, you're such a drama queen. There's no drama here, man. So, I already opened the box up. The fat guy left the heavy stuff. There you go. I already opened the box up, guys. Just give you guys a quick heads up. Oh, we'll go right there. There is their information. If you guys also, links are in the description below from Ammunition Depot. Um, depending on what state you live in, they will mail it to your house. Um, we got targets. That was free from Ammunition Depot, so shout out, guys. Deeply appreciate everybody. Was it about 15 there? Uh, 10, 15? Yeah, I'd say that. Give or take. Good dozen. So, but uh, I got uh, 7.62 by 51, 150 grains. I got 500 rounds um, at $261.75. That's about, I can't remember. I can't remember how much that is around. Do the math. There's 10 of them. But uh, we also got some 50 cal rounds um, for the Safety Harbor Firearms. Oh, I can't wait to do this 50, man. I've been waiting a long time, dude. Long time. Um, those are about 225 around. Each box was uh, 2297. So I got my packing slip here. Here's the uh, awesome 50 cal rounds. Dude, these things are gigantous. I haven't shot a 50 cal since I was in the Army, Army, and I got out in 97, so it was probably 95, 96 the last time I shot a 50 cal round. And right there we go. So, I know, uh, Walter, you tried to say stay away uh, from reloads, but this is what they had, this is what I got. Um, we got 30 rounds of the 50. I know a guy that used to take a girl out on his first date and shoot his 50 cal. There you go. So we got... Uh, That's the last real bang she really got. There you go. He's such a loser. Um, kind of a jerk. We got uh, the 50 cal rounds, and like I said, I got 150 yeah, I'm talking about of you. these for our other weapon that we are building tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. We're going down to HM Defense, and we're going to be building the 308. but these are brand new as well. Not reloaded, so there you go. But uh, really looking forward to this uh, 50 cal deal. Appreciate everybody coming hanging out. We got uh, Line D Fam. What's up, Mr. Doverfield? Bad boys. Appreciate everybody coming hanging out. Rebelson's in the comments. So that's a nice looking setup, Arrow. Good yes, looking it grass. Is. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, well put together. This is from uh, oh, Ammunition oh, Depot. Sorry about that. Let me uh, mute. Mute. There we go. So, if you like, put that off the side, sir. Oh, yeah. Let the fat guy lift the heavy stuff. That's right. Let the man do the deal. The other guys uh, we got today, um, Hank Strange. His link's down there in the description below for his YouTube channel as well. Uh, he had a gentleman on his podcast, and I was able to go over and be a part of some of his podcasts there but uh this is uh some awesome products from rand clp they got bore, bore and bolt cleaner and then bore and bolt uh and weapon products to help lubricate and protect and they also got their uh hog grease right there as well Honestly, I've never used any of it. No, we're going to give her a once through and uh, see what we think. Yes, sir. Now, this is non toxic, too, by the way, there, Captain. So you can grab that there. Now, here's the special deal. 
Uh, it is made in the United States. That's a yes, good. Yes, it is. That's a good. Right Let there. me go over here to primary arms. Now there is a link in the description below to Hank Strange's link. This is an awesome scope. This is a great two hundred and eighty-nine dollar scope. Guys, this is by Primary Arms. It's a 1 in 6 by 24 scope with the patent ACSS. It's a 223-556-545 by 39 and 308 um, scope as well. So if you guys are looking for a good scope, um, you get a free mount and free shipping if you purchase this with the link in the description below. It helps out Hank. He's a good guy. Would you like to take that out, Captain? And Show everybody real quick and like I said you do get a uh, free scope mount and free shipping through the link in the description below. And it comes with a free lens cleaner. Yes. Does it work oh lenses? my god I don't want to pick my nose George and it's not for cleaning your ears out either. It says stop. Stop. Oh. Read the directions first. Yeah. It's a sticker too. I yeah. like stickers. Here, I'll show you guys the rectangle. Real quick. Well, it's kind of personal when you talk about a directical. Yeah. There's what it looks like inside the lens. Um, I've already read the instructions and everything. Three times so you could figure it out. Yeah. I like the scope. It's pretty awesome. It's We're going to put that on Weapon 49 when we go out Wednesday at the range to shoot. It's pretty heavy. Seems fairly durable. Made in China. We'll give you a good review. I want to check it out and see what happens. I like it. Yeah. It's about eight inches from your face to get a full no scope dope. Is that so it clears your nose? Yeah. yeah that so you that with you this, get scope rings on your I do not have the product yet, but it is on its way, and I'll show you guys here real quick. I got this coming in the mail. Uh, you want to grab that real quick? That scope, or that spotting scope. What I did with my other one, guys. I actually took the case that screws over to protect the lens and I modified it and I actually put a camera on that so when we're at the range this will allow me to see down range and actually be able to pull a live feed but with what you're seeing up there on the screen as well that uh, clips you'll have your regular scope mount right here on the, on the scope and then I'll have a third one as you can see the rings and that third one uh, clips onto this and it allows you to put a cell phone and stuff but we're going to put a Logitech um, 920 camera on it so you'll be able to see down the scope and then see down range and then see us and everything we do at the range so it's it's going to work out but this deal up here this was the most rugged one that I had seen that I think will um, hold up and it has been uh, highly promoted by a lot of the other guys in the gun world. Um, I really like it, and I reached out to them. I'm not a paid sponsor or anything. I'm just letting you guys know, hey, this stuff is available. So if you're out to the range and you're shooting and you want to record it to show your friends, your family, um, you know, make your videos or anything or post on Facebook, or you can go live on Facebook with your camera, through this device when you're at the range and show everybody what you're doing. I just thought it was pretty cool. Wanted to share it with you. So all the links are down in the description below. All right, Captain Obvious, you ready to get right down to the meat and potatoes, sir? Uh, before we get doing that, uh, sit, yeah. sit back here a second. Hold on, hold on, man. Calm, calm get down. Get that big head of yours out of the way. I'd just like to give a shout oh. out uh -oh. to uh, all of our veterans. Yes. Our active duty members. Uh, Prior service, guys that's out there and uh, put themselves in harm's way for people that sometimes don't appreciate it, but we do. And uh, just want to say thanks, and I'm a veteran myself, so hoo uh, 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 All so right. What we're going to do here, um, if, you, if you're looking, we've already got a somewhat disassembled lower. Uh, we took the butt stop. AR-15 lower. AR-15, yeah, he is correct. Don't let that go to your head. Yeah, easy. All right, now. Um, we have removed the bolt lock, uh, the buffer spring, the detent that keeps that from the tube popping out, the butt stock, all that. So it's pretty much stripped down. We actually took the hammer out. Um, with this, yes. this uh, 
with barrel. the safety harbor firearms guys you will get another hammer and spring with a pin and a locking key that way there's no way that it'll fall out push out bounce out or anything it's a locking deal so all right captain all right now uh, what by the we... way captain obviously is my mechanic he fixes everything for me man yeah, i try he keeps me busy um so what we're going to do here is we're going to make this adjustment from your stock ar-15 lower to accommodate the 50 cal upper and i've had a chance here to review and look it over and uh, it seems like a fairly well built piece um, everything's um, heavy duty oh yeah uh, and yes i said duty for those of you watching that think that's a funny word um so what we're going to do is here by the way he's the only guy i know that's got a six inch lift on his boots i, I well <laughs> just, that's, that's just so i can reach the urinal okay yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, the stock is provided by Safety Harbor Firearms as well. Um, when I got the package, if you guys see the last two videos that I made um, with the unboxing of it, today we're actually going to assemble it. And tomorrow, right around noon, 1230, uh, we're going to be out to uh, Rainer Range in Blue Rock, Ohio. They have a thousand yards out there. We're going to take this out and we're going to squeeze off a couple and go out there but the stock comes now we have it comes in 18 inch 22 inch and a 29 inch barrel um, I got the 18 inch you can get it just in a regular bolt action single shot or you can get it in a five round magazine um, bolt action that's what we have today is the 18 inch uh, five round magazine fed um, you can get two as uh, three different um rails that you can get on top of it for your heights of your scope if you want to put a scope or iron sights and then you get a stock you can get a carry handle with it and some other stuff but we just got the basic minimum today so go ahead all right you want to zoom in here and let these guys we'll kind of give them a walk through on what yeah. we're looking at um Let's see if the, and if you you had to push it up there a little bit further okay. George. if you uh if you look at this is the stock setup stock ar what we've done we've removed all the stuff that uh, Here, don't I'll I'll just it. just just get back. I want to help. Man, he's always uh, picking all, on me. All the guys that that's uh, ever messed with one of these before, you know what a standard one looks like. So what we've done, we've removed the butt stock, we removed the bolt lock, um, we've removed the stock hammer out, and so what we're going to do now is is we're going to in in the process of all this the rear the rear locking pin that connects your upper and lower together we've actually removed it with your spring and your detent pin mm -hmm. so now that all that's removed what we're going to do is is we're going to right, let me show it up here real quick here, wait a minute, real quick this way you guys can see everything they get full instructions and detailed instructions on how to do it it's all right there all right hold on a minute. let me just, just quit i want to look man would you quit oh he's always picking on me now What's up, everybody in the comments? How y'all doing? T-Rice, Kermit the Frog, what's up? Give me a second, uh, Captain. Jareth, Little, how you doing, bad boy? Mr. Dover, go ahead. Okay, so what we're going to do is, now these have got like a, a sealer or some kind of a, a grease or something on them that they're a little sticky right now. Now when you, I think it's part of the packing stuff. The yeah, they're, they're put on. it's like a it's like a sealer or something like that on there. Mm -hmm. um, I would recommend wiping all this down with some uh, non chlorinated brake cleaner so you don't remove any, get anything on there, and then use a light penetrating oil on them. Uh, we got some right there. Do you have some? Well, let's just see how that stuff works. You got paper towel there, lubricant and protectant. I'm not talking about what you used on your honeymoon. Easy now, easy. Come on. By the way, I'm rocking the uh, Safety Harbor t-shirt, so shout out to Walter. Yeah, I like the green one, but uh, squeaky here won't come off of it. No. So, I wear an extra large for uh, anybody wants to donate advertisement to me. Yeah, by the way, uh, the email address is down in the links if you guys want to send some fan mail. Free lubricant. Not KY Jelly, guys. I know what you're thinking. But if you do send the KY Jelly, send it to his and hers. And put on there Captain Obvious at the Tyvon Show. Yeah. He prefers anal weeds, but Easy. anyway. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Yeah. All right, dear. 
cleans that pretty good. I tell you what, for all that crap that was on there, it it washed it off. Well, you should have cleaned it before you brought it over. Well, I just got it. Dude, I don't have a roll of paper towels. Well, you do. You got toilet paper right there. Uh, well, I'm at regular towels. Well, <sighs> um, I learned to adapt and overcome. I'm army. Yeah. Uh, McDover Field, another you know good option for a 50 cal is the SWF A string. By the way, guys, uh, this is a non regulated item. If you order from Safety Harbor Firearms, they deliver to every state. They'll deliver in the mail right to your house. Just FYI. I'm actually rather impressed with this uh, cleaner and penetrating oil. Uh, it says it removes about everything that I can imagine that's lubricant and protectant. And, uh, it doesn't feel greasy, but it it is lubricated. I ain't, so. I ain't messed with it yet, so yeah. it's not your normal joy. That's not. I wonder if that's silicone based. I don't know. Read the directions. Well, it says non toxic. We'll have to check it out. I've never used this stuff before. So this uh, is an experiment. We're learning. We're just going to do this as learn as we go along. Uh, when yeah. I was uh, watching Hank stream, when he had the uh, the guy from CLP on there, um, I was like, oh, check that out. Hmm. Not talking for any odorless, uh, non abrasive, penetrates metal, prevents rust, prevents hey, corrosion. Roll paper back here. Oh my god! It's not just your god, don't be so. TP, TP in the hand for everything. Well, you wouldn't even use them. You don't even do anything to get dirty and you're going to take my tools. Oh wow, this is also good for sliding door, door hinges, power tools, boating and marine equipment, fishing reels, exercise equipment, kitchen cabinets, cabinets and uh, uh, winches. Farming equipment, lawn equipment, lawn equipment. Willing women. Willing women. <laughs> Jerry says over there. Uh, garage door, rollers, dishwashers, uh, bearings, and bushings. Used for all wood, plastic, rubber, vinyl, and fiberglass services. Oh, okay. A product by XG Industries. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, Jimmy, should you guys check him out? Cool. Links to everything's down in the description below, guys. Okay, I'm just looking at the direction that I want to actually put this in. Oh, yeah. and I think I'm going to bring it in from the mag release side over. That way, when I go to hit the mag, we won't really be using the mag release. But yeah, you're not going to be using it. Oh, you're trying to debate which side you want to put the key on, don't you? Right, right, right. Okay. Springs to the rear. Just quit. Right, easy. Stay. I'm asking questions. You're not asking questions. You're getting in the middle of something. No. What's the hell? Normally we would do this out in the garage, guys. But uh, I wanted to do everything here. That way I don't have to tear everything down, go out there, set it all back up, come back here, set it all up, and do some more stuff, and then tear it down again because we're going to the range tomorrow morning with this 50 cal, providing that I've got cell phone service. We will be live streaming from the range tomorrow with this. Mm. You having some issues there, buddy? That's a hell of a tension on that spring. Super, super tight. Well, it's a 50 cal spring, man. Got to have enough well, to pop same. that primer. I get that. Let's see what. Give me a flat, small flat screwdriver. Oh, I got a flat screwdriver for you. I don't know about small. Oh, you got to line the springs up, get it in behind the. Yeah, what, that, that spring was shoved over to one side. Okay. There you go. That was my issue. Yeah, if I didn't have a, wish I had a vice mounted where I could put the stock in there. Oh, you bitch. <gasps> he said a bad word. Man, that is tight, tight, tight. Don't make me come over here and do it for you. I'm not. That is just really... Really a tight, tight setup right there. Okay. 
because I normally I got got my vice and all the stuff set up where I'm not trying to wrestle and hold it at the same time. There we go. What are you doing there, Joey? Ain't got no hair around it, guys. That's why he's having some issues. <laughs> Chris P, what's up, brother? Joey, uh, hopefully tonight, sir. Yes, I want uh, to go, but have to work. Yes, I uh, invited Chris to see. If, by the way, if you guys want to go, look up Rainer, R-A-Y-N-E-R, range in Blue Rock, Ohio. Um, that's where we will be. Wait a minute here. You got spring in. Ah, is no, I don't have a spring in wrong. But, oh, I see what it is. What? I've got to remove. Well, I think you got to take off the bolt catch. You got to take the bolt catch off, and I have. That's why you was having problems. Yeah, that's it? exactly what. So well, that's a good thing. We learned. We it helps thing. to read the instructions. Well, it would have been nice if you let me read the instructions. I you did. Do the grand finale and open it up. And let me build it. Uh huh. So you do have to take the uh, lower bolt catch off, or uh, trigger. Yeah. That's a separate piece inside the trigger, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Kaboom! So you don't need that. I got you. I got you. Okay. Got you. Stay I over want there. to help, man. Stay over there. You want to help? Stay out of the room. There we go. All right. Now we go back in there. Now that provides me with the room that I need. That's why we had problems getting it in. Yeah, yeah. That bolt catches the bolt walk. So if you'd let me have the directions, you just wanted to open. They're the right box. in front of you. Well, not when we got started. Man, he's always picking on me. No, I'm trying to teach you something, student. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, uh, teacher student. Now this is a uh, mill spec lower, nothing special. Okay. Gonna do this. Oh yeah. Function check. Function check. It's working. So. Function check. Locked. Oh, you're going to turn it so it don't pull up. Mm -hmm. There you go. Good thing I suggested that. <laughs> Why are we friends again? <laughs> you my buddy. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that uh, Jerry the Muffler Man comes tomorrow also. So hopefully we can get him out there as well to get the opportunity. We are going to stop and buy a couple watermelons. I want to set a watermelon out at a thousand yards. So what we and have see here, us. If you look, there's got to stand up and shut down. You're fine, man. Just point. Okay. Now there what you we go. got right there is the There you go. Right. And safety still works. Yep. There we go. All right. To the next step. Um, let me put this off. Nah, nah, nah. Just leave us stuff right there. Oh, I'll put it on his head, man. Just, just See, I always put tools away. George yeah. is like, don't I touch nothing until I'm done. It's like, do you got to put white tools down, yeah. keep them we'll clean? We'll be working on something, and halfway through the job, I'll look for the half-inch wrench. He said, why put it away? Well, we was only halfway down with the job. Yeah. So we spend more time doing things over. Cause yes, sir. Outdoor range, what's up, brother? Oh, crispy. When it comes to these springs and pins and all this stuff, it's best to put them in a bag where you don't lose them. What is that? Meredith? Dyth. Dyth's Mayhem. Man, Meredith. I hope I said your Meredith? name right. Is that Meredith? Yeah, it's Meredith's Mayhem. On the range. What's up, brother? How you doing? Appreciate everybody coming and hanging out, guys. This is an awesome day for me, guys. I've been waiting to get a 50 cal and go out and shoot it in a long time. So today's going to be a good day. Now, when you're dealing with a, a steel... And these are aluminum that we're putting these two together with. 
you always want to make sure that you uh, they screw together easy and they're not binding. Right. All right. So now this is a tool that I don't have that I've got to get. And I get this now. I'm gonna throw a shout out to Sherlock Marketing. Uh, you want to hold that up there and let them see yeah. the address stuff on it? Yeah, right there. And I've had turn it down just a little bit. This is another. There you go. Sherlock, they're they they provide a lot of good tools and uh, never had any trouble with anything that I've gotten from them. It's always been a quality product, so shout out to somebody that does things right. That's right. I know this thing's going to kick, but it's going to be awesome. Let me zoom out a little bit. That way you guys can see what's going on there. I didn't think that cardboard was going to be as shiny as what it was. I apologize. You don't think much, guys. Just bear with him. He's Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good thing he's a nice guy because, well, he just leave it at that. Yeah, what he said. Yeah, yeah. Oh, brightness. Here we go. Sorry, trying to do a little bit of adjustment on the fly while Captain's doing his deal. Okay, McFly. There we go. Now we'll save it out. There we go. Does that got a line on it so it's straight every time? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. My fault. McFly. McFly. So. Man, this is going to be awesome. Um, I don't have a scope that will with handle with the hold, power hold, of hold. a 50 cal for with the handle. muzzle blast. So I'm going to have iron sights on this um, tomorrow when we shoot it. It's got a good feel. It's comfortable. I don't know what the eye relief is going to be like on it. I wonder what the length is on this. You no. said all my stuff was in the thing here so I can move it right. Nothing's gonna fall out of this. Oh yeah, the pen is. I told you the pen detent. Okay, there, there's the pen. All right, put it up there. So that's about the same. Just a little, about an inch and a half longer. Got a little bit more pad on it. Because it's got that looks like a pack mar uh, cushion on the back of it. Yeah. You see it says something on there. Uh, white line by pack mar. Uh, sure is. Yeah. Well, pack mar makes a quality product, so. So far, everything that I've seen, like I said, today's the first time I've messed with it, touched it. Um, I built several hundred of these guns, mm -hmm. or rifles, I should say. There we go. Would you put a little bit of your penetrating oil on that? You want a little bit? You want to squirt, squirt and help that out a little bit? Yeah. There you go. Here's tissue spray to top the tissue, that way you don't drip it everywhere. Hold on, I'm gonna do something here. Go ahead. What are you doing? What's up? I'm gonna look and see if I. You got a different one? I got a different spring. I just got a lot of tension on it. That's alright. Once we bolt it on, you're gonna leave it on there, so yeah. Yeah, well, I get that. It's gonna be an awesome day, guys. You don't get out much. Captain's always got a bag of goodies. Let's just move on. Oh, yeah. We can come back later and do that. I'm going to. Okay, come on. Huh? Mm. Man, you're thinking on me. Thank God your mama loves you. Oh yeah. Oh, he's starting on the mom jokes, guys. We're gonna have to bust some out on him. Okay. All right. Would you like to reach behind you, sir, and get that big massive beast? Hey, not that massive beast. That's the Loch Ness Monster. It's only seen once or twice a year. <laughs> it's effective. Got two beautiful daughters. All right. All right. Oh, got the magazine. Huh? Well, we'll get it. You can do, some, it. You can I, do something I'll in this. I'll get something, man. I'll grab something. Ugh. As long as it's not me. There you go. By the way, here's the magazine, guys. It is a five-round, 50-cal mag. Safety Harbor uh, does make their mags. Ugh. Dude, this is going to be awesome.
And there it is. Well, I'm going to say just by the feel of it. I was going to ask you what you think it weighs. I'm going to say about 13 pounds. I'll give that. Maybe a little more. I Just from what I'm feeling, I would recommend a bipod. Try, try, try to help hold it up. Oh, I got one. I got bad rotator cuffs. Oh. I can't do it. I can't do it. Getting ready well, for shoulder surgery. Let me see what I got here. See if I can take this off real quick. I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. Yeah. Screw on that other side. Ah, oh, damn. Hey, be careful. I'm getting ready to go in for shoulder surgery, guys. This is my donor gun for everything. There you go. Bipod in hand. Ugh. Boom. Boom chuck a luck. There you go. It's built. And that was just minutes from the time it came out of the box to a finished product, so. Oh yeah. Poof. Well, it's probably a good thing it's got some weight to it. Yes. Because I'm sure that when you pull the trigger on this bad boy. Turn that around the other and side. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Go hey, back. Hold on a second here. Oh, I can't wait, guys. It's going to be awesome. Mm, go ahead and put the mag in. And then uh, this one. I think it locked in. There you go. And that is our finished product. Yes, sir. Turn this around. Oh, let me go out and get the sights real quick. <clears throat> oh, I totally forgot the sight. Now what I can see and feel and look at on this thing, it looks very well built. Uh, it's got a nice coating. Um, it's got a good parkerized finish like a lot of the military stuff we had when I was in. Uh, been a few years. I was totally unprepared. Dun -da -da -da. Hi. We have a front sight, sir. Um, these are uh, cast all the way. These are not plastic. I actually do not remember who makes these. Um, but they're mimicked right off of the regular AR4 style, or uh, M16 style. Uh-oh. Hold on, hold on. Turn it around, princess. Oh, you can't. Well, see, I don't care if that, that's made, that mount's made for a scope. Yeah. Well, we'll have to do it backwards. So that way we got... Yeah, that's right. I got it on right. I have. I bought a an AR um, fifteen a long time ago, and it had these on there, and I just took them off. I never put them back on. I've never used them. So there we go, guys. Ooh, yeah. Dude. If you're going to use a steel sight, I would recommend going with. There's three different style bars that I've seen according to the yes. book. Um, There's one just like this, but it's flat straight across. Where's the booklet for this? Uh, got it right here. Okay. And then there is one for... Turn the page. Here you go. Yeah, here's the three different sites, guys. The bars right here. You can hey, see You got oh, an open link for that? Right there. You got a link that's open? You can upper, that an upper... And then one all the way across. There you go. See here. Now, if you're going to run, yeah. if you're going to run the run steel sights, I would run the lower scope rail. That way, it keeps everything parallel yeah. with the back. Um, well, that's why they did the notch on the lower right. Well, I know what that's it. for. That's so if you decide to put a scope on. And from what I've, I just did a no, -y. no, no. Yeah, I've seen you dry fire it. I well, you can dry fire it, but I didn't check to see if the weapon was clear before I pulled the trigger. And it does have a magazine style uh, AR button for mag release. So, this is going to be awesome, dude. Oh, I can't wait. Like, so everything's kind of tight and then it's dry. Well, we're um, going to lube it up. Before you get ready to fire this thing, um, spray some lube down in there. CLP it. by Rand. Well, I yeah, links in the description below. 
But regardless, uh, take you don't know what kind of Check cleaner out, or sealers on there. Make sure you cover them seal numbers. Um, oh, you're fine. But oh. uh, take and, and wipe it down with some penetrating oil. Clean it and uh, run a brush through it, and then a patch. So you got so you're starting out with a you know, especially with it being a brand new weapon. Start out with it clean and and lubricated, and uh, so you're giving it a fair shot. You yeah. Know, you don't want to. There's a difference between taking a weapon and taking it out and shooting it and having something go wrong and just flat out being, well, ignorant and, and destroying something because you don't have enough sense to take care of it. Um, we appreciate them allowing us to to use a product and give it a give it a, a test and see yep. what we think of it. Um, now, so Safety far, Harbor I'm, did not sponsor me in this in any way, shape, or form, guys. This is something that I saw. I reached out to them. There it is. Um, when we get done, I have to ship it back, and I'm going to ask him to hold this one for me because I actually want this. And now, right now, I just here's don't question. have the money. Here's a question. What is the ship to the door price for what we've got right here? I think it was like $30 shipping. No, 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 no. no. no oh, gonna... it's $1,550 for the upper. That's it. I think it was 18 something with the magazine. I can't remember offhand. Now they make two different styles. They make the magazine fed and they make a boat boat action. Just right. a regular single. And really with a 50 cal, one shot's all you should need. But uh, if you got something like this, you're going to shoot more than one at a time and go through the, the headaches of popping it open and closing it up. And um, yeah. I really like this style. Um, Okay, the single shot right here, or I'll show you guys real quick. What's that the way. length on this one? Is this the 18 or what is this? Right here is the SHF. I'm sorry, SHTF 50 single shot upper is $1,450. With the magazine fed upper is $1,850. Um, and this is the one that I have right here. Is this what, what length is a barrel on this? You this one here is an 18 inch length. You can get it in an 18, a 22, or a 29. Um, we have this middle guard right here, the standard high for the sight. There's the 22, 22. There's the 18. Now that rail that you're seeing right there is the uh, other rail that goes all the way across. Here's the 29 inch. There's the muzzle brake that we're going to be uh, using. Here's the magazine fed. And then that can, does all that one. But this actual one right here, guys, is $18.50. You cannot beat the price of a 50 cal like this versus going out and buying a different brand and you can use your AR lower, and it's already registered. So, uh, Harbor, questions in regards Rogers. to California? I don't know. Links in the description below to Safe to Harbor. You can contact them and ask them about the California regulations. I know California just passed some more stupid laws out there. So, yeah, hey, hey, inquire. They're not stupid. They no, have a, they have the a reason legislation. For they have a reason for no, it. No, they're not. They're stupid. Well, there's people out there that's done ridiculous stuff, and uh, yeah, they've, caused, they've caused a lot of headaches to people that are out there trying to have fun and do the right thing. Yeah, that's so, true. So, don't knock them for trying to do no, what they're doing. No, I'm not knocking the people in California. I'm knocking the legislation dumb butts out there. Yeah. Anyhow, we love you guys out in California. But anyhow, if you're not sure, call, check, see what this is. But this is an upper conversion for your AR-15. And if you're from Chinatown in California, we love you long time. <laughs> we love you long time. So, uh, tomorrow guys, 8 o'clock, I've got a dentist appointment, and then I've got two or three errands I've got to run, and then I will be out to Briar Rabbit Firing Range. You can Facebook uh, search them. It's, uh, I'm sorry, not Briar, Rainer Range. R-A-Y-N-E-R range it's in blue rock ohio um come out if you want to shoot this bring your own ammo no steel casings guys this is not mine actually i would prefer you not to even bring a reloaded round um, bring virgin rounds but uh 
cell phone service provided that we have signal out there I will live stream from the Rainer range if not I'll record everything and then I'll post it Tuesday we're going to go down and build weapon 49 and then we'll be back live at the range Wednesday at Briar Rabbit with that one so captain hey Thanks everybody you. out there um Watch him. He's 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 kind of crazy now. He's got something we're shooting. <laughs> All you gotta do is run from him. He won't hit you. He can't he can't hit you. But I trip no, you. Have uh, have have a safe time on the range. But enjoy yourself. Always practice safety. Uh, is there? Live to hunt another day. So. That's right. Uh, Pitbull, what's up, brother? Robert the that fro man. What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Chris P. Uh, Robert's in the comments. What's there on the range? Oh, by the way, guys, um, we're going to end this one right here. And then give me about an hour or so. We're going to show you guys how to make good, effective uh, targets just out of general scrap steel. So we're going to wrap this up. We're going to go out to the garage. Oh, and now then, you're going to move the cameras. No, we're not going to take this setup. We're going to take a different setup. That's easier. Trust me. It's always on his way. <laughs> He's in charge. Teacher, student. Yeah, George that's wants that's to... why I had to build it. Thanks again. Uh, thanks, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, retweet. Check out the links in the description below, guys, for all the products that we showed you at the beginning of the uh, live stream here and the links to Safety Harbor for this awesome upper if this is something you guys are wanting to get. Um, shout out to Ammunition Depot. Shout out to uh, Rand CLP. Shout out to Hank Strange. Sir, thank you. We appreciate it. Thing. Um, sure. Check out that link, that guys. If you decide to buy an awesome scope and want to get a good price, it helps out Hank and what he's doing over there on his YouTube. A lot of the gun YouTubers out there right now, guys, YouTube is destroying their ad revenues. So we do everything for fun here. So pay me, don't pay me. I don't care. I'm going to shoot. What you got? What's going on? Uh, just. Do you want to pimp that real quick? Yeah, Sherlock. Go ahead. We got uh, Sherlock Marketing. Uh, they're from uh, Delta, Ohio. And uh, got any questions? Give them a call. 1 888 616 7278. Everything's made in the USA. American yes, products. Sir. So. Um, Chris, we're going to be a thousand yards out to Rainer, dude. That's their max. Um, they don't allow 50 cows on their steel. So we have to take our own steel when we go out there. Um, so, and we're going to have a couple watermelons out there as well. I want to see what a watermelon looks like at a thousand yards with a 50 cow. Everybody always shoots a watermelon at 50 feet, 100 feet, 200. I want to know what it looks like at a thousand when you tag it. Well, I know I won't go there, but. I want to see what a watermelon is. That way I can show you guys what it looks like at a thousand. So. And send us a message if you'd like to see us blow up a, like a, a, a small block Chevy engine or something like that from a distance. I'd like to blast one of them just to see what they look like. That well, would be bad. That would uh, be bad. I know, I know a guy 7th. that might have one. Oh, yeah. October 7th, we're going back out to Max's house, to his farm. That would be pretty cool. Did I tell you about that? No, you never tell me nothing. Hey, October 7th? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're going back we, out to Max, the Max Torx Farm. Here. Yes, October 7th, guys. We're going back out to Max Torx uh, Family Farm. Um, it'll be sponsored by Binary X. Uh, links down in the description below if you guys want to save some uh, cash on your binary products. Uh, it's Tyven. It is a promo code and get 20% off your order. If you use binary products and you shoot, make sure you record it. Post it on your YouTube or Twitter or Facebook. Tag and us. tag me. I want to see what you guys are doing and using uh, with the binary product. So, all right, you ready to go, sir? Clinger. We just yeah. call him Clinger, but easy. Yeah. All right, guys, give us about an hour or so. Don't wear the dress. We'll be back up live out on uh, in the garage out there, and we're going to show you guys how to do up some uh, targets with some scrap steel and stuff. I got a couple that failed because I was welding to. Uh, because you don't know how to weld. No, it was cast steel. You can and you know weld. you can't cast to do that with cast with what I was doing. It was I a temporary thing. I tried to tell thing. you, but you're a student. Hey. You're a student. I tried to teach you, but no. Hey, don't want to listen. He don't listen to shit. It worked at 500 shit. yards, but it didn't work at 50 yards because of the power. 
Damn, guys. Is that what it is? Y'all's so cool the 50 cow ought to just hold then, right? Well, we got a different venture on that one. Really? Yeah, we got a new process. Oh. Say goodbye. I'm going to weld it. That's what he means. Yeah. <laughs> Say goodbye. Say bye now. Say bye. See you guys. Peace out. Oh, here's my phone. Good guys.